Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. So we look at a 74 degree temperature. We look at a 73 dew point. And when you see that, you know when the temperatures are so close together that you're going to have a humid kind of feel to the air out there. And it is humid. And we've had some fairly clear skies. Well, at least some mostly clear skies during the overnight. And that has led to some patchy fog around, particularly around the mouth of Charlotte Harbor. Visibilities have been reduced there to as low as a quarter mile. Right now they're at about three quarter mile. Um, but as you travel about, you may encounter some of that patchy at times dense fog in inland and southern areas particularly. South wind comes in at about 8 right now. Watch that south wind switch to a little bit more of a southwesterly direction today and become a tad bit breezy as we wait for a cold front to approach. Fog will be lifting by early this morning and then we'll start to see the, the partly cloudy skies give way to mostly cloudy skies as we head into the afternoon and temperatures rise. It'll be a warm day today. Only thing is, those warm temperatures will probably occur pretty, pretty early on before we watch the temperatures begin to fall off as we head into the evening hours and the winds kind of start shifting a little bit more to the northwest. 3 p.m., we'll look for about a 77 degree temperature and maybe a 40% chance of showers, 30 to 40%, building to about 40% by 4, 5, 6 o'clock in the evening. By 7 o'clock, I think we'll start to taper down those rain chances to about 30%, and by midnight, I think we can get rid of them completely. Titan radar not showing a drop of rain around our area. Everything pretty quiet. The only problem that we're having this morning is that fog issue. To the north of us, such is not the case, we've got a line of fairly strong showers moving through parts of North Florida. And in fact, the Severe Storm Prediction Center puts this area, the uh, north central part of Florida, and even our area as well, in a marginal risk of some severe weather from some of these storms that could produce some gusty winds and some small hail. Now, tornadic activity is not an issue with these storms, but certainly some good downpours of rain and frequent lightning strikes, as well as those winds, could be an issue, particularly to the north. I will say that as that front sinks southward, the tendency will be for it to weaken. So we watch again more heavy snow through parts of Chicago heading up towards Detroit areas of rain showers moving through the Ohio Valley, all part of a frontal boundary that will be pushed through our area later today. As it gets pushed through our area, we'll watch increasing cloud cover give way to a few late day showers clearing overnight and then some cooler temperatures as high pressure back behind it builds in and several days of very quiet weather, but very cool weather. Frontal boundary itself, as I mentioned, producing some fairly strong storms currently in the future cast shows it moving southward through noon, maybe a scattered drizzle or two. But then during the drive time this evening, the showers move through, perhaps a thunderstorm and then clearing during the overnight. So here's your forecast. Uh, get ready. Know where those warm clothes are. Southwest wind coming in at about 10 to 15, increasing this evening to 20. Boaters don't get caught by surprise by those increasing wind speeds. And the seven day forecast looks like this today near 80 tomorrow, though, 67 our daytime high into the 40s tomorrow night. Wednesday, even a cooler day with temperatures in the maybe mid 60s, perhaps even cooler than that. Overnight lows in the 40s. There'll be some upper 30s in inland areas. Sunny skies, though, and not a lot of wind, so it shouldn't be that bad as we head into Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Another front comes through with another chance of showers as we warm back up to near 80.